Do you remember why you went into social work? Uh, this is one of my favorite conversations uh, to have with my students. I'll, I'll ask, why are you in this discipline? Why are you going into this field? And of course, they'll say, because I want to help people. And then I have a follow-up question that tends to floor them. I simply ask, why? Why do you want to help people? Maybe you're like me. Maybe you want to get into this field because nobody helped you and you want to be the kind of person that should have been. And you can become that person, but you won't necessarily be that person to yourself and that needs to be examined. Maybe you want to get into this field because somebody did help you and you want to be like them. My experience is that this isn't just true of social workers, it's true of teachers and coaches and other people who make a difference in the world. We want to pay it forward. We want to emulate the people who made a difference in our lives at different critical junctures. But the work changes you. There's countless firsts in social work. The first time you sit with a child who's been just horrifically abused or chronically neglected. Uh, the first time you hear a graphic narrative from someone who's been sexually assaulted. The first time you meet with someone who has lost everything. Uh, the first time you discharge a client who is now empowered and self-sufficient and has a new outlook and is doing well. The work ties you up in knots, it robs you of sleep, it all also provides you moments of pure joy and fulfillment, but it changes your worldview, it changes your perspective of everything. But too often we're left struggling to make sense of it all, and struggling to care for ourselves half as well as we care for others. There's so much for us to reconcile within ourselves, and I've never seen a guide on how to do that. We facilitate opportunities for healing of others, for catharsis and integration, but we don't necessarily receive them or even seek them out. The unexpected challenge then becomes imposter syndrome. Um, when I reflect on everything that was instilled in me in, in graduate school, I see the connection to imposter syndrome so readily. Um, I came out of social work graduate school feeling like I should be able to help just about anyone with just about anything, which is insane. Uh, no one can do that. Uh, we never really talked about aptitude and how there's going to be things that you're good at and things that you suck at. And I am humbled by the, the sheer volume of things that I suck at, uh, the volume of populations that I am not effective in serving. And I wish that someone had told me early on that that was true of all of us. I wish that someone had told me early on that you're supposed to be scared shitless going into the field uh, and that that's healthy and necessary and just uh, one more challenge to overcome.